Good morning, everybody. We have another day of working on basics and another day of the video just being centered on my hands because I thought it would be a little bit more helpful if you guys just centered on that. So today we are working on short draw and different ways to perfect your short draw. So we have the very basics. So I'm going to get going here. And just so you can see, I have comb top again. And if you missed that video on comb top, head on back over and take a look at it. So we have this. And I'm going to do a little bit of short draw. So you can see, and I'm just pulling using my front hand. My fiber supply hand is holding in the back. And my front hand is just pinching out and pulling a little bit of fiber out the front. And the back fiber supply hand isn't really doing much of anything. It's just sort of sitting there, just kind of lightly holding the fiber like it's a baby bird. You guys have all heard the baby bird analogy, maybe. So it's you want to hang on to it so that it doesn't go anywhere, but you don't want to squeeze it to death. Kind of like a baby bird. You want to make sure it isn't going anywhere, but you don't want to squeeze it to death. So that's my back fiber supply hand. That's all it's doing. It's just kind of holding that for my front pinchy hand, which is pulling out the fiber. This is just one version of short draw. You can see my hands are far enough apart. This is, it's good to know your staple length of your comb top. This comb top is a good five to six inches. And if my hands were too close together, I wouldn't be able to pull it apart. So when they're really close together, you sort of have a hard time pulling it. But if I were to move it farther apart, it just sort of melts away. And that's exactly what you want it to do. You don't want to be struggling to pull it off. So just pull out bits of fiber. And that's short draw. That's forward short draw. But there's also backward short draw, which is where my pinchy hand doesn't do a whole lot my back fiber supply hand is doing the work. So you can see that my pinching hand here, my left hand in the front, is just kind of hanging out and doing the pinchy part. Not really more than that. And my back fiber supply hand, my right hand, is doing most of the work. It's doing the pulling against it and helping draft it out. Now I can move both hands and that just makes me move a little bit faster, but maybe a little less consistent. You can kind of take a look. If you're watching the yarn at all, I'm a little less consistent when I do it this way with both hands moving than I am with just one hand doing all the work. You might be different. So it's worth you know, practicing a little bit doing some forward short draw, doing some backward short draw, and then doing some where both hands move the same. What works better for you? What's more consistent? What's helping you spin the yarn that you want? So get out there, practice your short draw a little bit and figure out what works for you. And we'll see you again later and keep working on these basics. Bye.